Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be checking out a full mix of a song called Shouting Fire at a Funeral by Jeff Loomis using the JST Jeff Loomis Ampson. So sit back and enjoy and then after we'll talk about what's going on in this session.
hey what's up guys welcome back so i hope you enjoyed that mix that i put together of this uh song called shouting fire at a funeral by jeff loomis so pretty much um yeah this session is pretty big it's 28 tracks total of um you know uh, raw di tracks i had for bass and guitars and i also have drum stems as well so this um mix was pretty difficult to mix to say the least so I'll show you what I have going on. I'll let you hear some um, stuff isolated. And um, yeah, what's funny about it is, you know, when you hear stuff isolated, it might not sound as good as, you know, when everything's in a full mix. But as a full mix, I think it came out pretty good. And again, like I said, this, this was a pretty difficult uh, session to mix. So let me show you what I have going on. Master track. I'm running this um, Brainworks SSL 4000G uh, strip plugin. Pretty much, I'm just using this EQ right here. That's all. That's all. I'm, that's all I usually use on my master track. So that's that. Then I'm running into this um, Alicia Alpha mastering compressor, which is really excellent. I like using this compressor and the um, Shadow Hills Class A mastering compressor. But this one seems to be a little bit better for me. It's a lot more transparent. And uh, yeah, it's just an excellent compressor. Go, going into this uh, Ozone Imager 2, just add a little bit of stereo with, you know, just a little bit. Then, you know, going into my L2 limiter as usual, just to control this uh, output ceiling so it doesn't clip. Just add a little bit of volume, not much at all. And then I'm running into this um, plugin called Insight 2 by Isotope. And that's all this is. It's a metering plugin. It just shows you where you're at. That's all. It's pretty nice. I like using that a lot. So that's all That's all I'm running on my master track. So these right here, these uh, pink tracks right here, these are all the drum stems. So I'm at my drum, which feed into this drum bus right here. I'm running another instance of SSL 4000G, as you see. I have a little bit of compression, except the fast and uh, pretty moderately fast release as well. And then just some EQ and feeding it to now 2 limiter. And then uh, on the, uh, draw, on the uh, kick drum, sorry, I'm just running this uh, SPL plugin by uh, Plugin Alliance. Just add a little bit more punch to it. That's it. My snare drum. I'm running this uh, Audio MC77 compressor. Really nice compressor. Just to um, give it a little bit more snap. And then going into this limiter. The rest of these are pretty um, much left alone. Because they're stems. They sound that right as they are. So my bass guitar, I'm running on Neural DSP Parallax. It's a stock preset arc reactor, but I just tweak some stuff on it. You know, not much. There's a cab section for it. Going into this F6 equalizer by Waves. So I have my high pass set at 80 hertz. My low pass set at about 4,500 hertz. Then I have this dip right here at about, I don't know, 1,100 hertz or so. That's it. And then of course, L2 limiter. So yeah, there's a lot of tracks on, on here because I have a lot of buses. There's a lot of guitar parts. That's what makes it difficult. So right here, the main guitar is left and right. They're paying 100% left and right. DI tracks feeding into this guitar bus right here. So here it is. Here's the uh, Jeff Loomis uh, amp sim that just came out, which I think is pretty cool. There's a clean section, rhythm, and lead uh, section, as well as you know you could do you could play this like as a live rig if you have like a MIDI foot controller, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna do another video to cover all that stuff though, and then of course you know you can set your MIDI mapping and such. So that is mono or stereo right here, and then um has a bunch of presets that come with it, which are pretty cool. So yeah. So, um, yeah, there's two stamp boxes uh, before the amp. You have a compressor, 
in the overdrive. Here's the amp that I have, how I have set up, you know, for the left and right. And then I'm running actually two uh, cabs right here. This side I'm running a JST matched cab, and then this side I'm running a Bulgarian digital impulse response blended together. This was pretty hard too, because um, at one point I'm like, the hell with this, and I just slapped in some catharsis impulses, but then I'm like, why? I go, let me let me use you know what comes with this, because that's what this video is about, right? I mean, those catharsis impulses make anything sound killer. But I'm like, no, let me just stick with these. And then there's um some uh, some modulation effects. You know, you have delay, reverb, and digital, uh, delay right here, which is pretty cool. And then you have an EQ section. And then you have this, which is pretty awesome. It's like, um, like a multi-band compressor, if you will. Pretty nice, I like it. So that's that on the uh, main guitar bus for the amp. Going into this um, F6 EQ again by Waves. You know, typical low pass and high pass filtering and then matched out some stuff I didn't like. Being into this J37 tape emulation by Waves, just to round off the top a little bit and then into a limiter. That's that for the main guitars. Then there's a bunch of guitars right here. There's two there's two guitars playing 100% left and right, which are piezo uh, acoustic guitars. And I'll show you what's on this bus. So this is running a clean channel. A little bit of compression going on. Uh, just a matched cab for this. And I'm running this... um. Uh, reverb called Blood. It's pretty sweet, actually. I'll let you hear it isolated in a second. No EQ. And then this uh, uh, multi-band compression type of plugin. And then, of course, into my limiter again. So that's the piezo guitars. Then there's a bunch of guitars right here. There's four guitars, acoustic guitars. Two of them, are, of course, are paying 100% left and right. Then the other two I have panned left and right at 40%. Feed into this bus. Again, clean channel. You know, typical stuff. Compressor. Same thing for the cab. Same setting for the reverb, delay, you know, your uh, modulation effects. No EQ. And uh, this Dynamics plugin. And then, of course, into a limiter. A lot of stuff guys it's difficult to mix so then there's two other guitars you know the story guitars left and right again 100% left and right I'll show you what's going on there well I have a preset called the uh, possessed so that's what's going on there again running uh, both of these cabs you know n nothing here EQ and uh, a little bit of dynamics feeding into this uh, 4000G plugin by Brainworks again I am using tape again and limiter that's that then the last two guitars paying 100 actually these are paying right up the middle solo guitars I'll show you what's going on in there. So I'm using this preset called uh, Kinda Magical. It's like this with the overdrive. You know. The matched cab. Running this um, reverb right here called Cloud. And also Delay. EQ. And Dynamics. Being into another EQ by Waves. You know, your high pass and low pass. Then I have this shelf right here. I kicked it up at about 2300 hertz. I like how that sounds. And then and another limiter. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. 
So um, yeah, I'm gonna section out this right here. Let you hear various tracks. Start off with the drums. Let you hear how that sounds. Sound pretty good. Let's move on to the uh, bass. That's that. Then these are guitars. That's a them sound, isolated. So let's hear some of these uh, cleans. So I'm gonna let you hear the acoustic guitars with the piezo guitars together. All right, so that's both of those. Those sound pretty good. I like that. So um, let me let you hear the uh, solo part real quick. So those sound pretty good. And then um, there's another part right here. Let me just show you real quick. You know, towards the, the beginning of the song. So right here, there's these two um, active guitars. So I'm gonna let you hear how that sounds. Right here. Let's go over here, solo it out real quick. So yeah, that's how that sounds. Sounds pretty good, I think. And uh, so let me uh, do a little bit of a full mix. Just a little bit of lead guitar, how, how it all comes in together. All right. So this is going to be everything except, yeah, except for the clean guitars because it's the beginning of the song. So check this out, man.
So yeah, man, that's the full max. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Because I sure enjoyed uh, making it. And uh, yeah, running all these uh, <laughs> instances of the uh, Jeff Loomis app, plus all these plugins, it, it's using about 33% CPU. Plus I didn't freeze any of these tracks, I just went ahead and mixed it. So like, pretty much when I mix all this, I, I play all these, uh, see all these faders, I play them like an instrument, all at the same time. I adjust everything by ear, so I think it sounds good with plugins on my master track as well. I do it all in one shot. And that's why it takes a while. But I enjoy doing it that way. So yeah, like, um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, share my videos. I really appreciate you doing so. And um, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. And until uh, next time, in another review of another amp sim, which I'm pretty sure more will come out this year. You guys be safe, and I'll catch you guys later.